Yeah, I've been into some of these homeless encampments with RVs, and the conditions are as bad as you can imagine. Makes sense why the outreach teams want to get people out of these RVs, but we've learned that even once these RVs are hauled away, the problems don't disappear. They were built to explore the open road, but this is the end of the journey for hundreds of RVs stacked up in a North Seattle tow yard. It's the ugly underbelly of the homeless crisis. That's what it is. Chuck oh, Labertu is in fighting, charge here. Bacteria, rodents, black water, all of it. Who wants to live one? Seattle City contracts with Chuck to haul away RVs after they're abandoned or residents are moved into housing from encampments. They're garbage. They're unsafe. Last week we we had one that had three guys sleeping in it. The city estimates there are at least 320 RV encampments in Seattle. Until recently, 14 of those were here in the South Park neighborhood. So are people living in the RVs? This is where Governor Jay Inslee said encampments like this are a scourge on the state. It is inexcusable to accept Washington with homelessness of this dimension. RV camps have caused major issues in Seattle, including driving business owners like Thea Sand out of the city. We showed you when she closed her 114-year-old rug cleaning business due to issues with nearby RV encampments. Someone in an RV dumped their raw sewage into her loading bay. She said that was the last straw. And we're just tired. We're tired of fighting with it. Chuck says his lot is over capacity with more than 200 junk RVs right now. And he's been told to expect more over the next three weeks. These things are filled with needles. The, the single biggest fear I have is my guys getting stabbed. The red tape to get rid of RVs can mean months of delays. Some don't have VIN numbers on them, and Chuck has to try to find and contact owners before hauling them to a wrecking yard. So for now, they sit here. Well, I don't begrudge the city getting the crap out of there. What I'd like is a faster process. In the meantime, Chuck says thieves are breaking into his yard to get into the RVs and look for drugs. Now they come back and just smash windows. Just to make it more difficult for you. Oh, yeah. Is this stuff that's been pulled out and ri rifled through? Yes. Or? Chuck says he knew what he was getting into when he signed up to help the city deal with RVs. This is stretching me. It's, it's depressing. But the scale of the problem is something he says is hard to keep up with. We have a mayor that campaign on clearing the streets, getting this garbage out of the neighborhoods, getting it off, you know, out of Seattle. So here it is. If downtown Seattle bounces back, it may need the spheres of influence to lead the way. Chicken, chicken. Gabriela Delgado parked here. Have means for, have meat for. And her food truck soon had a line down the block. Want tofu? Do you want egg or no egg? It's not normally like this. Delgado pointed to the big business decision across the street. They're coming back like three days a week, so maybe. Today is one of those days. Amazon CEO Andy Jassy has ordered 55,000 Seattle employees back into the office starting this week, a move the DSA president labeled like Christmas in May because it would have a flywheel effect. There is a thought with office worker foot traffic still hovering around 40% of pre pandemic levels, Alexa and her colleagues will change the trajectory two by two. Old Macy's building is the Amazon building. Layla Farange runs a restaurant a block away from an abandoned Amazon office space and says she sees a difference when there are more workers, more convention goers downtown. Crime is right now is very, very down. So public safety is much better. The theory is that foot traffic can brighten the darkest corners and if thousands return, hello. So might the activity that had Gabriella talking about expanding her staff. You're welcome. After just one lunch rush. Hi everyone, I'm Preston Phillips from Como News. Thanks for checking out the Como YouTube channel. You can see more of our videos right here by clicking on the video links for more news from the Seattle area and Western Washington. Oh, and don't forget to click the subscribe button below so you don't miss our YouTube updates.